Hello all, Shadwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, Batman from 1989. It's the first film in the Batman collection, is directed by Tim Burton, and stars Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson. If I don't cover this first, I'm going to get too deep into my review, and I'm going to forget entirely, but I absolutely love the score for this film, done by Danny Elfman, who has long been a musical partner of director Tim Burton. This isn't the best Danny Elfman score out there, as that honor belongs to Dolores Claiborne, but the score for Batman has got to be the second best thing about the film. And yes, I'm aware of what I just said. So then, what is the most impressive thing about the 1989 Batman? It's not the performance of Jack Nicholson as the Joker, and it isn't the direction of Tim Burton, although they're both definitely icing on the cake. But the most impressive thing about the 1989 Batman is the production design work by Anton First and Peter Young, who both won an Oscar for their work on 1989's Batman. The sets and buildings and the locations are sumptuous in this film. For the most part, it's all black on black, but it is is a gorgeous black on black, so I can't really complain. I think things only get better with the sequel, Batman Returns. I really like the 1989 Batman. I think it was my first exposure to the idea of a dark comedy as a kid, as the film is really funny, but morbidly funny. Lots of death jokes in Batman. Opened a whole new world to me. I gotta say that before this rewatch, I forgot two things. One, that Robert Wool was in this film, and two, how much I fucking love Robert Wool. With all the re-up of old series, I'd like to suggest a re-up of his HBO series, Arliss. Come on, HBO. Make me ecstatic instead of pissing me off on a constant basis with all the streaming content you keep axing. Hell, by the time you see this, HBO Max will have been a distant, glorious memory. Anyway, back to Batman. Michael Keaton does an excellent job as my second favorite Batman. Sorry, Keaton. My heart has room for only one Batman, and he's Adam West. Now, when it comes to the Joker, is Jack Nicholson the best? No, but he certainly puts in a damn admirable job. Kim Basinger is great as Vicki Vale, but we'll have better Batman girls in later films, like the very next one. Also, and I think this largely goes unnoticed, but the songs were all done brilliantly by Prince. I'm gonna give 1989's Batman a big ol' A- minus because it's great, but the formula can still use some perfecting. A good thing tomorrow I'll be reviewing Batman Returns on our continuing Batmanathon. See y'all then.